Hi guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. Okay, today I'm going to read another excerpt from my book, Five Years in Heaven, The Teachings of Heaven. Okay, so I'm up to page 230. Um, <clears throat> today's video is about the teachings of heaven, which is book two in this, like second chapter of this book. So the teachings of heaven were what my great, 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 great grandmother taught me about when I was up there talking to her when I was in heaven for about five years. Okay, so in chapter one, which is called Onus of Responsibility, in this part, so here it is, the Onus of Responsibility, chapter one. I'm going to read this and then I'm going to give you an exercise in self-analysis. Okay, so here we go, page 230 from my book. We all have the ability within ourselves to be whatever it is that we wish to be. We all have the inner ability and innate ability, which means natural, right? To create whatever reality we wish to manifest. Ask any child at school what they want to be when they grow up and none will stand up proudly and say, when I grow up, I want to be traumatized, isolated and in a pit of depression to the point where I am living on prescription drugs to make me feel happy. Not one kid out there wants to grow up to be unhappy. <clears throat> How true is that? And now we reflect it into our lives now in the 2020s. How true is it that so many people now are unhappy? Everyone wants to be happy. Everyone wants the best there is. Everyone wants to have the best friends, the best job or the best of everything. And how true is that? Because we all deserve this, guys. We really do. We are so special that we forget that. You know, we listen to what other people say about us. We listen to what they say that we must do, if you're following me, with like mandates, etc. And all that deteriorates our self-worth, our self-value, and most of all, how much love we put into our own existence, which is self-love, right? <clears throat> so how do we obtain all these things if we don't already have them? We have to look in, look at ourselves and find out why our energy is not attracting those things to us. We have to look at the behaviours and the emotions that we carry around on our shoulders and to seriously consider if those behaviours and emotions are actually helping us going ahead or hindering us, keeping us in that rat, rut, sorry, rut that many find themselves in. We must heal ourselves by eradicating the things that within our own energy that do not serve our bigger picture. Okay, so what I'm actually saying there, which, hello, I created this little ex exercise, it's how we self analyze ourselves. Okay. And it's called the why and because method. So what we do is we say a sentence regarding something, anything in your life. OK, so I'm going to say a sentence. I am happy that it is a hot day today. So there's my answer. There's my that's my statement, right? My statement. Let me just write this down again. So I've got the statement. So put an emotion into that statement. I am happy that it is sunny today and it's hot. Okay, so we come up with this statement. So grab yourself a pen and paper <clears throat> and write that statement down. <clears throat> I am happy that it's hot today. And then you answer, why? You ask it, why? Okay. So you, you put down that, why? Are you happy that it's hot and sunny today? And then you answer it with because. All right. So my statement, I am happy that it's hot today. And so now I've got my statement written down. I am happy that it's hot today. Okay. Why? So why am I happy that it's hot okay why are you happy that it's hot so then you answer because the why and because because well 
because now I can stay inside okay now I can stay inside okay so do you see how this is following so now my statement is now that I can stay inside so we ask why again <clears throat> and we make it relevant to this so the question now that is why why are you wanting to stay inside so to see how now this statement is totally different to my beginning one so my because because it's all why because why because because <clears throat> why am I happy that I'm why do I want to stay inside today well because I'm spending time with my daughter well there you go I've got a 15 year old daughter most of you know that I can stay inside with my daughter okay so this is how we get to the self analysis we go deep into why we're happy or sad okay so now I ask why to that statement I can stay inside with my daughter why so you make it a question now why do you want to stay inside with your daughter because so why is why <coughs> do you want to stay inside <coughs> want to want to stay with your daughter and then because to that would be so we can do something together excuse my handwriting I write worse than a doctor okay so <clears throat> on here I've got my what for why why do you want to stay inside with your daughter so we're addressing the step above it so you whatever you answer you make that a question okay so you make the statement into a question and then you answer it and then you make that quest that statement into another question and then you answer it and then you make that one into a why and um, question so you keep going down so <clears throat> why do you want to stay inside with your daughter because we can do something together so now we question that as a why why do you want to do something with your daughter so then the because because you answer it the because I'm just speaking genetically here okay so the because of this could be quality time okay quality time quality time so <clears throat> this is how we self-analyze ourselves even though in my original thought was I am happy that it's today's hot day the real reason why I said that is because now I've got the opportunity to have quality time with my daughter so then I'm not distracted with other things so what I say is another example of this right you've got somebody <clears throat> he's stuck in traffic and he's getting angry okay he's getting angry so we've got to ask ourselves the why and the because why are you angry that you got stuck in traffic today because I'm going to be late for work so then you make that the next question so why are you angry because that's the first emotion right in the first statement so you always go back to that emotion why are you angry that you're going to be late for work well because I've been warned before okay so now you make that a why why were you warned before because I slept in one day and I was late for work and I got into trouble so then you make that and the next question so why did you sleep in and why were you late for work because I went out partying I was drinking all weekend and my boss didn't like it so you make that the next question so why did you sleep in oh because I I'm a teenager I feel like I should be at a party all weekend and you know so there's a lot of options here that we could go into but <clears throat> the guy or girl isn't upset that they're stuck in traffic they're more upset with the fact that they've been warned before not to do this behavior and it's something they don't 
want to change okay as you remember our synaptic network we only have about 3500 synaptics in our network which is our memories which create our habits and routines or is it 35,000 I've got to check that one again um, so what happens is we get into these behaviors <clears throat> where we've got to attack them and work out why we have these like emotional behaviors okay and that's what I was talking about in my book we've got to identify the behaviors that we don't want to do anymore so ask yourself a statement and you put an emotion in there I'm happy today because there's a show on at five o'clock that I like to watch why do you like watching it well it makes me feel happy so what about that show makes you feel happy well everybody wins prizes so okay why do you feel happy about people winning prizes because it shows me that I'm a generous person bingo we've now self self analyzed ourselves so we like watching these TV shows because ultimately we get to that because after all those other whys and becauses because we're actually a generous person and because we're not in that position of giving that generosity of giving out these prizes we watch it on TV where other people are doing it for us okay so this is how we self analyze ourselves to get to that core of why we do certain behaviors or emotions now this is really good when it comes to things like insecurities and jealousies okay because in heaven we do not have these behaviors they don't they just simply do not have any energetic relevance up there we're not jealous and we don't compare ourselves to anybody else okay because we're well I'll just go there deeply because we're all one okay which will be another video so stay tuned for that one how are we all one in heaven when we're separate people and separate souls so getting back to par with what I'm talking about today when we talk about insecurities or jealousies okay I don't like that woman at work why because she's always laughing and she's always happy so so that's the because so then you ask yourself why why are you jealous of her being happy because I don't have very many friends and she's got all these friends at work they all like her so why so you answer because why because why um, why haven't you got many friends well because I don't have many friends I don't know where to go to meet them so why haven't you gone out and found friends find your tribe find find something where you're not comparing yourself to that other woman at work so then you let go of all those jealousies okay so these are simple examples that I've used today because you know when we go into self-analysis it can get really deep especially with mummy and daddy issues okay because most adults are still hanging on to mummy and daddy issues okay and it's true because no one has actually had the time to sit there and psychoanalyze ourselves as to what happened when we were a child when we were only doing what our parents wanted us to do you know it was very hard to step out of that family box and go off and say I'm going to go out and be an archaeologist today and dig up Aus um, Europe um, Egypt because that's actually what I wanted to do when I was 16 I wanted to go over and do a safari in Africa and dig up dead bones that's what I wanted to do but I never got that opportunity because see we're going into the because because I was brought up that I go out and get a job earn money and then you know when I did start working you know you only get a certain amount of leave a year so I never had that opportunity where I could go over and spend three months digging up bones in an archaeological dig, dig okay so we sit there and we self-analyze ourselves and we think to ourselves how do I now let that go release it so we take that responsibility for our actions okay so the one that I've just used today I'm happy that it's hot and today is a hot day 35 Celsius do that in Google what is 35 Celsius in Fahrenheit and you'll know what I'm talking about today look at me I'm all red and it's only 10 o'clock in the morning here 
So in another four hours, it's going to be stinking. Um, so I am happy that today it's hot because ultimately through this wine because example that I've used, I can now say I've got this opportunity where I can sit inside with the air conditioner on, where I'm doing things with my daughter while she's still on holidays because school's not going back for two weeks because of the COVID. Um, but we have now got this opportunity to do what she wants with me where we are creating that quality time of painting or watching a DVD or play, playing on her gaming console or reading a book or playing with the cat. We've got thousands of options that we can do, including sleep. <laughs> okay, I'll be honest, we need a siesta today because of the heat. But ultimately, guys, when we self-analyze ourselves and we work out that core reason of why we do a behavior that's when we're healing our past because in heaven when we go through our life review we're put back into all these situations from our past all these memories of our youth or growing up depending on how old you are of course but we're put into all these old memories where we must relive them and then we relive it from the perspective of the other person or the other animal, like I talk about with the, my grandmother's cat. We p give it that whole understanding where we can forgive it, accept it, and then release it so it's healed. Okay? So it's all in my book, The Teachings of Heaven, because I was taught all this when I was in heaven. Here it is. This is how thick my book is. If you want to go and grab a copy, it's on Lulu and the link is in the bottom. There's also a PDF version so you can get it as an email. A lot cheaper. Okay, so you can get it as a PDF. Okay, so that's a good little excerpt from today. Onus of responsibility. How do we account for who we are? So we take that power into our lives. How powerful do you think I feel today? Now that I've recognized through my first statement, I'm happy that it's hot today, even though I'm sweating, I've got the air conditioner on. But how grateful am I now that I recognize that I'm now appreciating that I've got quality time with my daughter today? So big question for all of you. Why are you now, Lin why Linda, are you now sitting here doing a video? Why aren't I out doing that? Why aren't, why aren't I out there painting a picture? Because it's important for me to share this information with you so then you learn how to do this as well. And that's why it's called the teachings of heaven. So you become your solistic alignment and you start living heaven on earth. Catch us all soon. Have a great day, guys. Go do some self-analysis. An Hope it's a doozy for you. Bye. To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.